Okay, so, hi, it's Zen. Um, so there was a video that was uploaded yesterday, you know, the Dragon Ball Super Kata Sucks video, and I fucked up the audio in it, so I had to take the video down and basically had to re-upload it. So for anybody that did watch it, um, I'm sorry, and I hope this isn't asking for much, but if you can, could you please rewatch it it was my honest mistake i'm sorry for doing that i honestly want to swing on myself because i just found out because i just listened back to it now don't know why i didn't do it before but whatever and also um i want to give a big shout out to shinkyo i'm sorry if i pronounced your name uh wrong but he made us this nice intro without us like even asking or anything um and i looked at some of his work and it's pretty good he's not bad at, he's not bad at what he does so i'll have a link to his uh channel down below in the description i would definitely definitely check him out you will not regret a damn thing checking his shit out um but other than that it's been your, your daily trash cans in here and I, i'll catch you guys later I, I just i fucking can't be ass bro i just i just fucking can't can't i can't What's up guys, it's your boy Nikim Nick, sorry for the background noise, Nikim Nick, whatever the hell you want to call me, this is the second time, I'm trying to record this shit, I'm joined by my very good friend, Zentography, please introduce yourself, I'm very very sleepy, yeah, so this is the second time we tried to record this shit, right, we had some technical difficulties, but yeah, we're gonna go over why Dragon Ball Super was disappointing. Fuck you, OBS. Um, yeah, let's go over it. Oh uh, yeah, then you should start this off. Oh shit! All right, so so basically, right? All right, but before before we get into the nitty gritty of things, I don't want the a Dragon Ball Super is actually good. Listen. All of this an opinion. is how we feel. It's an opinion. If you disagree, by all means, you can list your opinion in the comments below. But don't hit us with the, you're wrong and you're right. This great. So, I know. You can say whether you agree or disagree. Honestly, I can give two shits. I'm not here for the lollygags. So, <laughs> super, right? I, I don't know what the hell happened, but like... It had the same thing happen to it that fucking Shippuden had to it, but worse. Like, like remember, remember how good of a run Shippuden was doing? Like, yeah. Naruto comes back to the village after training. Everybody's growing up. Niggas is up here on some Joni type shit and training. Sakura's not useless yep. anymore for a little bit. Like, niggas is glowed up. We got some good ass arcs. Like, we got to see all the Akatsuki members fight. Mm -hmm. We got to see the Pain arc, which was amazing. Yep. We got to see the Five Kage Summit and all the other types of stuff. Then, then came the great ninja. The infinite right? filler Sakiyomi. Oh, <laughs> that. For one, those are way too many fucking filler episodes. Two, holy shit, holy shit, did they cut the two main villains? Holy shit. Yeah, Madara kind of got an eyes. Like, how the fucking... What I don't understand is how are you going to make it so Obito, right, he can't use the ability that makes him so goddamn over P OP, right? He can't go into the comedy dimension or, like, phase through objects. But yet, Madara can do that same thing with the eye that doesn't even allow him to go inside the dimension. It's just, it's just stupid, really. I don't, it's just that's that's, that's it's another just video for another day, then. 
going to do Naruto <laughs> Shippuden. But we're here to talk some Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> well, so the difference between Super and Shippuden is he was Shippuden, like, I actually, like, enjoyed watching that, but Super, I don't know. It's, like, it's inconsistent, though. That's the best way I can describe it. It's inconsistent with its characters, yeah. it's inconsistent with its lore, inconsistent with its art. It's inconsistent. It's inconsistent with a lot of things, and it makes it um and like it's been stated by so many different like power scalers and shit like that it makes it really like hard to try to justify. like justify do yeah like justify people's power scaling because like we try to do it off of feats but the feats aren't there like if if, if like trunks that, and then like the power of five niggas including yajirobe was able to use mend his broken blade and cut an immortal being in half not Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. We got issues. That's when we have problems. <laughs> that's when we have problems. See, that's why Gogeta's. No, but, no. Um, I disagree. But um, that's another video. But um, it's just like I I failed to see how. L l let's just let's just let's just get this one out of the way. So Kefla versus Goku, mm -hmm. right? I fail to see how a character, right, who's just like just like a little bit stronger than Boo Saga Vegito, right? The Boo Saga. Yep. The saga that got animated over a decade ago. That was around the time when niggas were just opening rifts in dimensions, not, you know, tearing the fabric of the fucking universe apart. I fail to see how she is able to press super saiyan god blue. blue and super saiyan god that's fucking sh yeah i i don't understand how she's able to press them when like not only is goku's base stronger than how he was in the boo saga but with the multipliers not to mention of how many times this nigga's gotten fucked up like he's been shot in the chest he broke both of his arms he zamasu like pretty much like yanked his ankle away from him. like dude he practically died like all the zenkai boosts do got and you're telling me that he's still not able to compete with a boo saga level fighter like what what, what do you what do you mean you know what, what do you mean What do you actually like? <laughs> Mr. Me? Ultra Instinct Goku comes out of nowhere, out of the cut, right? Transformation. Oh, and before, and before like, all of the Kefla, like, fanboys come out the cut, first of all, I like Kefla. She's, like, one of my favorite fusions, like, all of Dragon Ball. I like how, I like her attacks. I like how she looks. I don't like how she was kind of portrayed and how she was executed, but I like her as a character. But just but she's still a Boo Saga level character. She ain't shit compared to these niggas. I don't care what nobody's saying. Before anybody comes out the cut, oh y'all are just hating because she's a Boo Saga level character. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand how like okay she's okay she's stronger than Vegito was in the Boo Saga. She is she stronger than him now? No. <laughs> exactly. So what's the point of bringing that up all the time? This is really it's it's a weird one it's actually a weird one um no, you, you, you nah, 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 cool, cool. now it's time to get on to the big boys hit versus during before the um oh, I was just about before to our technical <laughs> before thing. our technical difficulties uh <laughs> well in the previous one zen expressed his hate towards that fight and i of course expressed my hate towards that fight as well because i really love hit as a character and as a concept of a character as well like he's an assassin self-taught he was able to put a lot of work in in the universe in curse of seven fight and initially i thought he was one of the strongest characters in super now, i'm not saying he rivals the gods or reese or whatever but he was pretty strong stronger than you think haha <laughs> shock the cybercock reference but anyway. um i really thought he <laughs> i really thought he was going to put enough work against jiren but I guess yeah, with the power like, uh, of opening your fucking eyes, he was able to defeat 
he was able to break the time skip if I'm not mistaken. He broke it. Like shit shattered. He broke it. So like what uh, my my thing with the fight is the fight was immediately right after the one hour fucking special that introduced like imperfect um ultra instinct Goku. And I'm like um okay like i don't know why the fight is this soon considering the fact that like at the time the three strongest people in like the entire tournament that like everybody like fan wise had eyes on was jiren hitting goku so like they were kind of like the the big dogs and it was like really like hypothesized a lot that like it was gonna be those three as the last one that i'm like okay cool 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 so after the special once goku just like goes night night and like he's like heavily heavily tired just straight fatigued to the point where like he can barely move mm -hmm. so hit and jiren start to fight each other right starts off pretty good it actually so, starts off pretty good hits putting in work he's pushing hit he's pushing jiren back and i believe um what's the fat beer is called fucking jump it's yeah, Chomp is like, yes, hits, do it, you can do this. Everyone's cheering them on, and then, and then, just out of nowhere, like a fucking RKO from Randall Keith Orton himself. He just hit, just starts losing for no it, reason. He just starts yeah, losing. That, like it goes uh, from they're like they're starting to. Swap hands with each other to then like Jiren just straight overpowers for like no reason. There's no like context of why he's doing it. He just is. He just like immediately starts countering him and he's just straight. Every time hit teleports out of the pocket dimension, just keeps boom, boom, boom. He's just getting hit every single time he comes out of it. I'm like, he even countered the time when he literally made a cologne of himself and snuck around in the dimension and Jiren like somehow still knew he somehow sensed his presence when he wasn't even on the same dimensional plane as him which I still fail to understand to this goddamn day well, several well, months later. There's a reason you see Jiren's family was killed which pushed him over the edge no no Jesus. no 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 if that's the case, then fucking Trunks should be fucking God of Destruction. <laughs> I don't know. Jiren's a, Jiren's a weird one when you're talking about he's and, and then not, not to mention, like, what you were talking about, the ending to the fight. So, like, you're telling me that this nigga opening his eyes just straight breaks the concept of time. Like, this dude's so eyes are just the mere, the, pure, the mere presence of Jiren should kill niggas. If you think about it, right? If, if this man opens his eyes and <laughs> the fabric when he walks in the room, he probably kills everyone there. It makes no fucking sense, dude. And then we've got Mr. Ultra Instinct itself. I wasn't going to talk about this, but I think I have a little bit of time. But I might as well bring this up. I don't hate Ultra Instinct. I, I didn't hate Ultra Instinct initially, actually. I, I hate it now. Because it just it oh, yeah. came out of nowhere. Now, a lot of people like to justify it by saying, well, in Resurrection of F4, the second arc of Dragon Ball Super, they Whis mentions if Goku and Vegeta work together, and um, they will be able to achieve something far greater. I don't think that was Ultra Instinct. I think that the writers were like, hey, that thing we referenced, let's just make it into a transformation. Vegeta doesn't obtain it. Vegeta doesn't obtain Ultra Instinct. No, Goku does. Because he absorbed the spirit yeah. bomb. Yeah, and not and not to mention like when people bring that up. Well, for one, Whis was talking about how they both like they operate like how they fight with each other. They said that if they start communicating and actually like working together, they'd pretty much be like unstoppable. I mean. They fought an army of metal coolers. Like, I'm pretty sure that's like the best way that you can show that when they work together, they they pretty much wreck but shit. Unfortunately, that movie isn't canon. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I, I it's me, I do believe like it was hinted because like Weiss was talking about how yeah. um the whole part, like the whole balance of like moving without thinking mm. and yada yada yada. But like, 
it was more of like a state of mind more or less of a transformation yeah it wasn't a transformation like i think i'm not trying to say roshi did go on to anything but in the latest chapter of the manga roshi was doing something y'all can probably back me up on this if you've read the manga <laughs> yeah if you if i don't know i'm pretty sure like it's the panel's been like literally like all over the place of Roshi actually like punching Jiren, swapping hands, and literally dodging Jiren. <laughs> this is how Roshi is. He ain't like he just does. That's another thing. They like it's super inconsistent. Not because of the storytelling characters, too. Characters. Because of how they portray the characters, the Z, like the Z dude, fighters remember how were were relevant. There was a time where the Z fighters did stuff. They actually took people now down. Just, and now it's like if you're not a Saiyan you ain't or shit. a Mechian or an Android, you're pretty much just. I, which just so happens to be like half of the Z fighters. Because then that leaves literally like the androids. Goku, Vegeta, Gohan. And fucking, and I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count Frieza as a Z fighter now. That nigga's is, is always around them. Not, speaking of Frieza, I didn't think they should have brought him back. It's just me. In, in my opinion, I feel like Cell would have sure. been a better pick. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. We could have gotten some nice, like, witty, uh, fucking banter between him and Gohan. That would have been funny. If they you've ever, if you ever, that, yeah, I was about to say, if you ever played Fighters, the, all the characters interact with each other is quite nice. Seeing characters that haven't interacted with each other interact with each other. Like, Yancha and Freeze and those ones. Um, like, like, not to say that the, the Tournament of Power, like, it, wa it wasn't complete. Completely bad. That's not what I'm saying, but it's like it could have been so much better, way better. Like there were moments that were actually like executed well. Like I liked how Frieza tried to fake it, like the whole alliance of Frost, just like double bossing, mm -hmm. Frosting it up, getting erased because he was gonna try to kill Frieza after he got eliminated. I thought that was like pretty cool because that showed like Frieza still like Yeah, that don't trust me. Evil dude you don't want to trust. So. Uh, now let's talk about the ending of Super. Now, the ending of Super is a very mixed bag when it comes to people in the community and people who just watch Dragon Ball in general. I didn't hate the ending because I already knew this is how it was gonna go down. I knew that all the universes were gonna wish back. It's kind of fucking obvious, right? I didn't expect 17 to win and then everyone on twitter just flipped oh 17 is the real mvp he just isn't <laughs> what it's a crazy the crazy thing is though is that like the weak win fucking 17 blew himself up like everybody was just in an uproar like how could you do this 17 oh my god r.i.p and it's like that and then when he came back Dudes were genuinely like upset, like they were mad that he came back. Like they made, like y'all made us stay to be dead. Fuck y'all! And then when he wins, like everybody's happy he's back. Yeah, it's a crazy one. It's so, it's so flip flop. Just how people, yeah. how mass um, clouds can be about stuff nowadays. I really felt like they could have expanded on way a lot more stuff. The the concept that there are other universes out there, people who could be stronger than Goku. And Vegeta, but we never get to see the other ones. Mm. To be fair, Zenosama did wish back every universe he eliminated, so that does open up more for when the show does come back, because I know the show's gonna come back next year. Yeah, because they did say the show was gonna after, be on after the movie. Yeah. After the movie comes out. Yeah, I wanna yeah. make a video about the movie, I might make a video about I'm not sure. Low key, low key. But yeah. Yeah, that's why I honestly felt Dragon Ball Super was a bit disappointing. Um if you guys want the definitive <laughs> Dragon Ball Super read for manga, the manga is way better. You're getting one. Yeah, the reason we say that is because the manga is written by one like one consistent person. Not a, a group not of, a group of people asses. that are inconsistent. And, and before anybody pulls up with the, oh, what are you talking about? The writers do a good job being consistent. If you go to, I believe it's like one of Seth the Programmer's videos, right? Shout out Seth! Shout out Seth! <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, shout out, I guess shout out uh, Chuck. Yeah, too, they're, they're pretty good. I uh, love, love that Netflix so video on the Don't, low, don't low, come low, after us. It could definitely use that shit. But, um. <laughs> like, there was a tweet 
from like one of the writers. Actually, it was a tweet from yeah. like I think three of them, and they asked like, who would you list as like the strongest fighters? None of their lists match each other. Like one was like Goku is the strongest, then Vegeta, then Android Seventeen, Piccolo, Gohan. They don't know what they're Another doing. Another one had. Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Android 17, Pickle. I'm like, which which one is it? I'm like, don't understand what they mean. And I'm like, y'all niggas is really I'm so confused. Well, hopefully it learns from its mistakes and it comes it comes back in 2019 and understands what it's doing and make a con- consistent, cohesive story. Story. If not, uh, just uh, I pray season four uh, of my hero. We get JoJo's part us. five. So, uh, something else. Oh yeah, <laughs> true, 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 true. Oh yeah, since it's oh, yeah, since yeah. Ben yeah. goes long as shit. So yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah. Speaking. Oh, thank Lord have mercy. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, thank you, Zentography, for joining me. Of course, this is a group channel, so you'll probably see more videos of me and Zen and me and Riku, and maybe Riku and Zen. I don't know. It's kind of what we do. We we would have we would have gotten uh, Mr. Sky, but I believe one, he's, but, uh, like, he's busy at the moment. His ed- his edge ass is like currently sleeping at the moment, and we didn't want to wake him up from his uh, slumber. So yeah. Um, hit a like, hit that like button. It really shows that you support and appreciate us. Uh, subscribe to our individual channels. Follow our individual twitters, including the NRZ Twitter, if you can. Join our Discord. We're always popping. Talk to us. And also sub to us too. It shows us that you want more content. Fucking, I just said, all right. Uh, please don't get corrupted, file. I want this upload. <laughs> yeah. So um, pretty much it. Look forward to the future. I want to make some My Hero manga videos. Maybe Zen can join me because Riku hasn't read a fucking manga. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bye.